We might take just a second and give acknowledgement to the timekeeper, Floyd Beard. Would you stand up? <laughs> okay, uh, our next uh, speaker will be Wes McKinley, representative, Colorado House District 64. As a third generation cowboy, Wes knows what it means to be from Southeast Colorado. West is our current representative and is determined to protect every American's right to life, liberty, and property. Wes has been married to his wife, Jan, for 40 years and is a father of four and a foster parent to numerous children. He holds on to that Jefferson belief in local family farmer rancher and is committed to, committed to developing responsible policies that protect the interests of Colorado residents. After teaching high school math and science for many years, West believes in improving the quality of education while maintaining local authority and increasing teachers' abilities to teach. As a parent and husband, West understands the importance of accessible, affordable health coverage for all residents. As a native to his district, Wes also understands the unique issues which face this area of Colorado. Please welcome Wes McKinley. It really was not the legislature that passed the bill, 1069, changed the statute. The statute is 3-1-103, which says, we, the state of Colorado, give consent for the acquisition of private property for lands to put buildings on. That's the law. That law was changed. It now says that plus. That does not give permission for the acquisition of private property by eminent domain for the Pinion Canyon expansion. The reason that bill passed was because the students and the people of Kim, Colorado come to Denver. It wasn't because of your government, it was because you did it. Because Steve Wooten stood outside, kind of lonesome standing out at a press conference with three of us there, and I was playing the guitar, and was entertaining a little. But we did that, and the kids come up, and they come home then at uh, five, six o'clock in the evening and did their chores and was school the next day. When you're in Den Denver, they only stay till about five o'clock, then everyone has to leave. The Honey kids come up, and they did that. They brought their animals up, and they truly believed that the Constitution, we say no expansion, but what we really mean is learn what the rules are. We have a great country with a good government. Why? Because inherent in each one of us, in our hearts, is a sense of justice. And what do you do with the sense of justice? You seek guidance. And that guidance is given by a system of laws. With a system of laws and a sense of justice, the system of laws, incidentally, is based on the Ten Commandments. It's that simple. The right to own property, inalienable rights, upholding those, and we as a people, for, of, and by the people. That's the only time it works. Whenever we come up, we can say we're going to do this, and I've done the same thing, but when it comes down to it, when the people say the people's government, a republic, a representative republic, is not a spectator form of government. It takes time, it takes dedication, and it takes a little bit of expense because it's really not cheap driving to Denver. And if you're like me, you really don't like driving in Denver. So with you, the people, standing up and doing your duty for a government, we talked about uh, maybe your government's a little out of control. One of the things I want to do is see if we can't do some accountability on the Department of Human Services, Revenue, Agriculture, CDOT, you name them. Because we come up, and this often happens to me, I'll run a bill, and they'll come running when I'm trying to lobby it with the other legislators. What does the Department of Revenue, Human Services, what does the Department think about it? Have you worked with the department? Have you talked to all of the stakeholders? Have you talked to the governor's office? I looked around the Capitol. Not a person up there hired me to represent them. You hired me to represent them, so you're the one I have to answer to. You're the ones that's responsible. And you do. Thank you for your calls. I like the calls at 6.30 and 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm often in the office making calls. I appreciate your support. Thank you.